Welcome everyone to another segment of Moments with the Master. My name is Brother Ricky and Pickney, and I'm one of the ministers and deacons here at the Trinity God's Church of Christ. And today I want to talk to you about allowing God to shape your life. Allowing God to shape your life. And the text I'm going to use to highlight this point is found in Jeremiah chapter 18 verses 1 through 10. Jeremiah chapter 18 verses 1 through 10. It's a very, very well known and popular text. And if you have your Bibles, I ask you to read along with me. And the reasons follow. This is the word that came to Jeremiah from the Lord. Go down to the potter's house, and there I will give you my message. See, I went down to the potter's so I went down to the potter's house, and I saw him working at the wheel. But the pot he was shaping from the clay was marred in his hand. So the potter formed it into another pot, shaping it as seemed best to him. Then the word of the Lord came to me, O house of Israel, can I not do uh, with you as this potter does, declares the Lord, like clay in the hand of the potter. So are you in my hand, O house of Israel? If at any time, if at any time I announce that a nation uh, or kingdom is to be uprooted, torn down and destroyed, and if that nation I warn repents of its evil, then I will relent and not inflict on it the disaster I had planned. And if at another time I announce that a nation or kingdom is to be built up and planted, and if it does evil in my sight and does not obey me, then I will reconsider the good I had intended to do for it. In this text we find Jeremiah uh, teaching the, uh, the children of Israel, God's people, that, that, that God can restore and shape their life uh, how he sees fit, uh, that God can direct their lives in the path that he has chosen. In other words, he's trying to let them know that God is ultimately in control. Now, there's a few things that we can learn uh, from this text. And number one is that God can fix whatever in your life is broken. That God can fix whatever in your life that is broken. Some of us are living in some situations that we feel uh, are broken and damaged and, and that can't be repaired. We, we feel like we are in some uh, disfigured uh, uh, dilemmas or, or uh, uh, environments and we feel like there's no way out. But I want you to know that no matter what has been uh, uh, torn in your life, God can mend it back together. No, no matter what has been broken in your life, God can repair it. No matter what has been damaged in your life, God can restore it because we serve a God who can fix anything. We serve a God who can fix anything. Uh, but we have to remember that, secondly, we have to be willing to make the first step. We have to be willing sometimes to make the first step. Now, Solomon teaches us in Ecclesiastes that there is a time and place for everything. Now, there's a time to be patient and wait on God, but then there also is a time to step out on faith and make the first move. And what God has shown us is that if we are willing to make the first move, then he'll be willing to make the second, third, fourth, fifth, however many moves he needs in order to, in order to get us to where we need to be. In fact, God, Jesus said in Revelations 3 and 20, he said, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice, and allows me in. I will come in and eat with them and they with me. In other words, Jesus said, if you are willing to make the first move and allow me in to your house, that I will bring blessings into your house, that I will be, that I will restore the things that you feel that are broken in your life, that I, that I can help reshape your life. And God can reshape our lives in a way that will not only uh, better use, utilize our physical abilities, but also our spiritual abilities. And the thing I like about God is that we serve a God who is uh, a not too late God. And, and what I mean by that is that sometimes the world tries to teach us that it's too late for us to uh, do certain things in our life. That it's too late for us to uh, uh, change our careers or to open up our own business or maybe even to go back to school. But, but God has helped us to see that as long as we trust in Him, it's not too late to do anything or to receive any blessing He has for us. He allowed Abraham and Sarah 
to uh, have a child at an old age, he allowed Moses to lead the children of Israel uh, out of Egypt at the age of 80. We serve a God who is not too late. He's a God that, who, as long as you trust him, it's not too late to receive the blessings that he has in store for you. But you have to be willing to trust him and you have to be willing in some cases to make the first move. So I just want to encourage you today to allow God to reshape your life, to restore that which has been broken in your life and be willing to make the first move. Thanks again for joining us for another segment of Moments with the Master. Until next time, may God keep you and bless you.